What's going down? This is the man with the plan. This is Bronco Juggalo, and it is Wild Eye Wednesday, and today I am reviewing Baby Nymph, also known as Hashtag Baby Nymph. Now, this is a 2016 Portuguese film from Brazil. It got its Brazilian release in 2016. It got its American release in 2019 from Wild Eye. Now then, guys, a uh, very different kind of film here, I gotta tell you. Directed by Aldo Pedrosa, starring Dandara Aiden as Baby Nymph or Sibella, and starring Giovanna Almeida as Diana. Two teen girls around 16 to 18 years old. They're having a good old time. They're filming one another. Uh, Baby Nymph, she's kind of a minor, uh, I don't want to say YouTube, but an internet personality where she trades on sex and things like that and partying and just being general kind of internet chick. I don't want to say like an OnlyFans or something because she's doing it pretty much for free and for fame. And it doesn't show her like showing everything in the movie, but it hints that she has. Now, these two, they're having a good old time while her dad's out of town and the other girl's parents are gone as well. And all of a sudden, a internet follower shows up who's interested in a lot more than a virtual hard-on. Now that is a uh, almost a misleading synopsis even though I made it up myself kind of. I took what was on the back of this and then what's in the movie but if I give you any different it's gonna really give things away. I don't want to give too much away in this movie because I do think this is one you need to see yourself. Now I gotta say at first I was not into this film uh, I'm going to kind of mix it up. I'm going to go back and forth between pros and cons here. I'm going to start off with something I liked about the film, and that is this is a really good case study of modern day youth. It really is. Uh, it shows how, you know, they don't think anything's real unless it's on the internet, which is basically the way this generation is, at least in my opinion. With that being said, that makes this a found footage movie. Every shot is done with basically, or at least made to look like it's done with a cell phone camera and even though you know I was thinking about this the other day too found footage is basically what youtubers do we record something on a camera but it, or whatever a lot of us use cell phone cameras to record but it, it's different and um, you know I use a tripod things are stationary unless I want it to move up and down I don't get that same sensation as when I'm watching a movie of found footage you know what I mean the found footage of this really got to me especially and yes, they did it on purpose because it's amateurs doing the quote-unquote filming. It's the girls in the, sh in, the, in the movie. So for the story, they kept focus that motherfucking camera. That's what I'm saying. They kept zooming in and out and unfocused and blurry. And man, it was really fucking my eyes, which are already fucked up for today anyways. I do think, though, that framing it the way they do is a really good thing. Sometimes we get a full screen and sometimes we get an up and down with the black bars on each side. Because they're showing it like as if the girls were filming up up like this or side like that. And I thought that was a cool idea. It made for an interesting transitions in the movie. It really did. Now, I will say, guys, I was kind of bored in this film. If what you want to watch is two underaged and, in my opinion, underdeveloped teenage girls acting kind of flirty and sexy and whatever, that's up to you. That's your business. If that's what you want to watch... Fine, if you're underage yourself, go for it, you know. If you want to see them drinking and just, you know, being kids. One thing I will say for about it is I did like some of the stuff that, you know, because it reminded me of things that we did as a, at that age, you know. Not saying I'm a teenage girl because I'm not. But some of the stuff they did, some of the stuff we did. You know, drinking games and partying and just stuff like that, you know what I mean? Um, but I was pretty bored through a lot of the movie. And then I'm sitting there kind of bored and I'm watching what's happening and there's a new element that gets added to the film, a new character and this is a at first a welcome character and then some things change and all of a sudden this film takes a hard hard left turn and that's a big pro for me because that hard left turn from that point on it was a completely different kind of movie and it was fucking really good from that point on. I had a lot of fun with it, a blast with it. 
as I said, this is definitely a character. Got it backwards. This is definitely a character study into today's uh, millennial and Generation Z, whatever they call them, generation. It really is. Uh, it shows, you know, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, the lack of common sense, the lack of decency, the lack of courtesy, and the lack of anything really resembling, you know, morality. And, you know, I'm not saying I'm a saint because I'm far from being a fucking saint. But there's just some things that are just dumb and some things that are just wrong and some things that just don't need to be happening. And for me, one of those things is underage girls taking their clothes off on the internet. I don't even fucking understand how, I guess in Brazil, I don't know what their age limit is in Brazil. Maybe it is 16. I don't know. But for me, it's not what I want to see. And luckily, they don't show that in this movie. I was very happy they did not show because I think that would make me feel... I mean, as long as the actresses are over 18, it's one thing, you know, because, I mean, like, I mean, come on, we've all seen high school 80s movies, you know, American Pie, all that, you know. I grew up on that. I love that. I was at age at the time, you know. Um, there's nothing wrong with any of those things. Halloween, the girls are portrayed to be under 18 years old, you know. Nothing wrong with any of that. There's a difference between portrayal and real, and I don't know how old the actresses were, but I do know the one that played Diane did not look like she was even close to 18, so... I'm very glad they did not do any of that in this movie. It was only suggested. They talked about it. And uh, all of the uh, flirtatious, sexy stuff was done with clothing. At least minimal clothing, bathing suits, things like that on. Man, I sound like a prude right now, but we're... I mean, you know what I'm talking about. It's just not what I wanted to see. And I just found the movie to be kind of dull until that hard left turn. And I don't want to tell you what happens. But oh my god, does it get fucking intense. And it gets really fucking good. And it's definitely one I'm going to recommend. If you can take the found footage, it's tough. This is actually the second found footage movie I reviewed this week. And it really got to me a little bit. It really did. My eyes, everything, I just kind of really fuck shit up. You know what I'm saying? But... Other than that, it's a good movie, good story as far as things go. And if you don't mind, about 45 minutes to almost an hour of, you know, some BS. I will say that the two girls were really fucking annoying, man. This is why I don't like kids these days, I swear. They were just fucking annoying, man. My kids act like that. If I find out my kids pull any of this shit, I'm going to be having some serious fucking issues with my kids. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to have some talks in more ways than one. Uh, yeah, my kids better not ever pull this shit. And I've pulled some shit, but there's a big difference. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm not that person anymore. I'm the adult now, and yeah, I'll whoop my kids' ass. For real. They pull this kind of shit. Anyways, guys, this is Bronco Juggalo saying check out Baby Nymph. Definitely a different kind of film. Definitely one that's worth a watch uh, for the most part. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Somebody should have told you I'm the wrong one All fun and games until you see me with a shotgun Homie, I'm the wrong one